Welcome to the screencast for Write or Die Desktop Edition. Finally, you can write without the distractions of the internet, and it's myriad kitties playing on treadmills. I want to introduce a few features that are distinct to the Desktop Edition, some of the improvements that I've made that I hope you guys will like. Starting from the top, you've got the Grace Period Slider, so you've got more options than just the three radio buttons. Now if you need a little bit harder or a little bit easier, there's some variation that you can make. More of a gradual curve. All the way to the left for a very short grace period, all the way to the right for a very long grace period if you need to daydream a little bit and figure out what you're going to say next. Down from there we've got the consequences modes which are the same as the online version. Gentle pops up a text box and lets you know to keep writing if you stop writing. Normal will uh, play an annoying sound at you when you stop writing. And Kamikaze Mode will start eating your words one at a time until you start writing again. Speaking of Normal Mode, here's another feature that's new to the Desktop Edition. You can choose a custom sound. You can either do random, which is the same setting as the online version. You can select one of a number of the program's evil sounds, or you can choose your own file, an MP3 file from your local computer. So if you happen to own a legal copy of Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up, and really that, that'll do it for anyone, um, you can play that or any other awful or annoying song you can think of. So there's that. Other settings we have here is always in front, which makes the window stay always in front. Full screen, which stretches the window to the edges of the screen so that there is nothing else visible, nothing else to distract you. Here are the evil options. Disable save till goals met and disable backspace. Disable save till goals met means that you cannot press the done button. It doesn't even appear until you have reached your time goal or your word goal. Disable backspace keeps you writing forward by totally disabling the backspace, so you'll always keep adding words. Another customization here, you can change the color and font of your text and background. Change the background color to a delightful pink and the text to a tasty green for a nice watermelon flavor. Uh, you can change the font if you prefer a different font or a bigger font. But I'm going to go back to tasteful. You can also have white text on a dark background, which I rather prefer, but I'm going to go for white or dark text on a, on a white background. And then you have stats. You've got your total world words typed for all time. So every time you enter into write or die and write some words, it'll add to this total. Total punishments, total number of times you've slacked off and write or die has had to punish you. High score is the most words written in a session. Average words per minute. Obviously I write faster than two words per minute, but what are you going to do? This is the test version. Average words per session, how many words a session you've written on average, and words eaten by kamikaze mode. So if you use that mode, it'll tell you how many words you've lost. All of these are individually resettable, so if you wanted to reset your word count before NaNoWriMo, so you have an idea of how many words you have and how many words you uh, have left to go, then you can do that. All the rest of them resettable as well. Word War is something I'll get to. Word War is a head-to-head -head online writing competition where you connect with a friend and see who can write the most words in the shortest period of time. But for now, we're going to deal with the, just the, uh, the plain solo offline program. So here you have word goal and time goal. You can set time goal for whatever you want. Word goal, same thing. Anywhere from one minute to however many minutes you want. I'm going to set it for 100 words in 10 minutes. Here you'll notice right away that you've got progress bars up here. You've got a words progress bar and a time progress bar. Time will obviously increment with the time uh, and words increment as you type. 
So as you type words, the progress bar will increment. So you have at a glance an idea of how you are doing compared to how you should be doing. So if your time nudges ahead of your words, you know you need to write faster. Here you have just like the online version, the timer and the word count. And this is new to the desktop version, the, the done screen. You've got save, which just does what it says. It'll save to a text file, .txt. Add to file will actually append your text to an existing file. So say you've got a running text file for all of your NaNoWriMo story. You can click add to file. If you need a chapter title to help you remember what you typed on this occasion, you can enter that. And click add title. And then you can add it to this text file here. It'll ask you if you want to replace it. You're not actually replacing it. You are just adding to it. But it looks to Windows or to Mac or to the file system like you're replacing it. So go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and find that file. Some tasty lore mipsum. And you'll see here's your chapter or section title, and here's the time and date that you typed it, and the contents. Uh, also, when you save, I'm not going to type a lot right now, but when you do save it, you'll notice that we do preserve line breaks now, which was one of the big complaints on the, off, on the online version. So you don't have to uh, reformat all your paragraphs when you're done. So there's that. Then you've got the publish menu. So will give you a couple of different options to push your uh, text that you've written to a blog service. We've got Blogger, Live Journal, and WordPress. These open up a uh, post-edit window in the respective services so that you can write a blog in Write or Die and get it posted so you can blog more as well as write more. And here are some new widgets. They're improved. You can post them wherever you post images on your website or on your blog much better than the ugly old ones. Oh, and also there's the uh, the tweet button, which I encourage you to use often, just telling your friends how much awesomer you are than them. So that concludes this screencast of Write or Die Desktop Edition, and I hope you've enjoyed it. It's written in Adobe Air, so it's a, it's functional for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It is $10. You can find it at writeordie.drwicked.com. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.